Another manager at the Cumberland County Health Department is stepping down. As CBS North Carolina was first to report on Twitter this afternoon, Wanda Tart, the director of nursing, said she plans to resign. This comes just one week after an audit found 160 women had not been informed of abnormal test results. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler is back in Cumberland County tonight with the update. Just wanted to follow up uh, regarding our conversation. Late this afternoon, over the phone, Wanda Tart, the director of nursing at the Cumberland County Health Department, confirmed she was retiring. After 30 years at the health department, she says it's time to go. But the timing is suspect. It comes exactly a week after an audit. A review that found that between 2011 and 2015, 29 women hadn't been informed of abnormal cervical screenings. In fact, none of the 160 patient records the committee looked at were handled in accordance with policy. I went back to the county offices. Looking for a copy of the resignation. Then to the health department looking for more information. I was told Tart had left for the day. Sometimes things happen that needs to happen. County Commissioner Charles Evans telling me he wasn't surprised Tart resigned and another independent agency needs to take a closer look at the health department. There's much more going on, from what I understand, there's much more going on at that health department than anyone knows about. CBS North Carolina, the first to tell you about it. My report prompting the county to investigate the health department. Our difficulty is going to be is regaining the trust of these poor citizens. They have nowhere else to go for help. Tart declined my request for an on-camera interview. I also asked the county for a copy of her resignation letter. I'll let you know what I hear back on both of those. Meantime, the audit committee is supposed to meet next week. I'll, of course, be at that meeting and continue to press for answers. In Fayetteville, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina. Amy, thank you. And investigations like these are possible in part because of tips from viewers like you. If you have a story idea, send us an email at newstips at WNCN.com. You can call the number on your screen or you can reach out to us on social media.